for Saturday night. So uh, just sitting in the watch practice right now, getting a little ahead. But uh, you know, good week of practice. Um, I think our guys are locked in, and you know, it's always a challenge to bring your guys back and, and see where they are when you get to Thursday and Friday. Um, but like I said, this team is, is uh, persistent uh, in what they do. They're consistent with the way they work, and and uh, you know, they played good football this year. We need to continue to keep it going because we got a really good football team coming in. Uh, when you first put this offense in with Matt, was the red zone a specific area of focus for you that, that you wanted to be better than you were last year in that area? No, no. I mean, you, know, you, know, you want to be good in everything. So it's not like you, know, you don't bring a new coordinator and say, hey, listen, we've got to be better in the red zone. Um, you know, I know we kicked more field goals down a year ago than we, you know, we scored touchdowns probably, but you know, you don't, you don't kind of base it off of, hey, what did we do before? What are we going to do now? No. So what then do you think? What then do you attribute to your success this season? You know, uh, a good game plan and, and uh, you know, really, a, you know, the style of offense we've got. I, mean, I think we do a lot of confusion uh, with, with the defense as far as, you know, the motions and, and uh, you know, we run our base plays and we're giving opportunities for our kill to go on. A year ago, it was just a totally different offense. The last two weeks, you said the issue with secondary was details and fundamentals with the process of kind of Trying to find improvement there. You know what? I think I think we've made the progress. I, you know, I really like what we did this week with uh, with our players, and, and uh, I think you know they were more detailed. I just watched Pat Skelly from today. Uh, just watching the details there, I think they got a better feel. Uh, little things that we need to get done, and uh, those details. And, and again, I felt better a year a week ago. I mean, we were much better against North Carolina uh, than we were the week before. So I do see progress there. I, you know, we don't worry about yards. Um, now those are you know. Can't worry about. It. Can't worry about the win, and you know, we got to do things we need to do to get it done. If there are personnel changes, do you anticipate them being more wholesale? One player replaces another player, or more just rotating, maybe more than you did. Who's more? that? It's any any personnel changes you might have, you know, particularly in the secondary. Do you anticipate it being maybe rotating a little more than you have in the last game or two? Or you know what? We'll see how it goes. You know, I don't like rotating many guys uh, back there. It's tough. You know, you got to get in the rhythm of the game, and it's tough. You know, you want to rotate guys when. The tempo, you know, I don't think temperature wise. I mean, you guys, I don't know if you were down on the field last Saturday, but it was, it was, you know, uh, it was hot. And, you know, that, that may have played a factor. But, uh, you know, I think our guys are in good shape, and, and I don't like rotating guys if I don't have to. So that's if that need occurs and a guy needs a blow, then you know, we'll get him in. But if not, we're going to be ready. When you know teams are going to try and pass against you, take their shots, does that change the way you prepare for? regardless what you saw on the tape from them on the previous week? Yeah, I mean, I, you know, this team's going to take shots. They'd like to throw it, too, but they also like to run it. You know, we knew Oklahoma State liked to take shots, and, and uh, you know, can we prepare for it? Uh, obviously, didn't get to that plan, you know, quick enough, uh, thinking that, you know, we could hold up. And, and you know, the first one was a you know, missed assignment or miscommunication, whatever you want to call it. You want to do it, call it the right thing, didn't do the right thing. But, you know, people are going to take shots, and, you know, we'll be prepared for it. So, you're uh, watching Marshall and Gabe play. You know, they're well coached. Uh, you know, you, you notice their quarterback, you know, Chase, you know, the game he played, obviously didn't play last week against Louisville. He got lucky. Uh, but Chase is a, is a good football player. He can make all the throws. I mean, he's a six foot six guy that, that uh, I, I think, you know, has a future. Uh, I really do. I think he's got a lot of moxie. He's tall. You know, I think you can see a lot of different things because he's six six. Probably all six six. He's a six two and a half guy that says, says he's six six. Uh, he looks tall. He's a guy who's injured as a junior and, and in high school and didn't get many looks. But if he wasn't injured as a junior, he might be, you know, playing in Alabama. Who knows? I think he's a really good football player. Is he hard to bring down when you try to sack him? He is. I mean, he kind of reminds you a little bit of you know. Uh, I don't want to say he's Roethlisberger, but he's a big, tall guy that you know, is, is, uh, you know, surprisingly. Lose, lose, you know, defenders. I guess I mean, he, he's a good football player. Do you expect you're only 48 hours from kickoff? Do you expect any new faces on defense? Not ones you haven't seen before. Okay. You know, I don't really talk about you know personnel injuries. Well, man, you know, guys just try to keep asking personnel that, and injuries. You guys just dig. But if you, I'm going to bring you guys all a show. I might need to do that yourself. <laughs> just doing my job, Pat. That's all. You're obviously never satisfied, but with uh, the run defense the way it is, I mean, you 
you optimistic that you know things are going to improve not just by yards but the win? You know, it's week by week. I mean, the week before you give up a 67 yard or whatever it was, and we really you know dominated you know the run that day except for one play where uh, we don't fit it right. But, uh, you know, it's game by game. And like I tell our kids, you know, really offensively and defensively, you're always good as your last game. They don't remember what happened last week. They don't remember what happened the week before. So no one cares that you gave up 18 yards rushing last week. What are you going to do this week? And that's kind of – that's never satisfied. You know, you know, you know how it is. I mean, you can always lose your last game. Very bad article today, Jerry. Good luck to you. Yeah. Tell me about it. Yeah, right? <laughs> you know. you, um, you get the sense that Matt changes anything with what he tries to do in the fourth quarter from the previous three, or do you feel like that's just a continuation of, you know, what worked in the first three you just keep trying to do that? Yeah, I mean, you know, we always try to have some different stuff for the fourth quarter, and, and uh, which we do. You know, I don't know if you guys see it, but uh, it's just a little bit of a change up. You can't have too much, and you don't want to save anything that could be good for you in the first quarter, not use it in the fourth quarter. So you got to be careful with what you use and save. Um, but it's just a matter of, you know, it's amazing if you can go back and watch the tape. And you look at how some coverages move, and, and uh, you know, they messed up. I mean, you go back and watch, uh, they messed up, which caused us to mess up. You know, just a read here and there. They mess up and break a field corner the one time on, and they hit Quadri for a short gain or whatever it was. But if Jester Wee runs vertical, they're in big trouble. So they broke the coverage, but they made a play because they, they messed up. And then the next time, you know, Peter sees it, he's thinking, okay, here it comes again. They're going to stop Quadri because he doesn't know what the whole back end was. And then, you know, you know, not good. So it's nothing he changed. It's just sometimes you get unlucky and you think they're going to do the right thing and they do the wrong. That's what we got to be careful this week. We're not sure you know, what they're going to do, Marshall is. Uh, and, uh, you know, even if they're supposed to do it, they might not do it. They got, you know, they may make a play by doing something wrong. Uh, so those are things that we'll have to deal with this week. You, you said know. on Monday, Caprari expects back. Is that still the case? No, I don't know. I'm not going to find out. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. You have some good calls and fun coverage. You know, I think it's uh, our kids understanding what they're doing. I really do. Um, you know, I've seen some bad kickoff coverages and punt coverages through my years. And, uh, and you, know, I, you know, I've said it before, I really like what we do and how we do it and how Coach Powell coaches. Uh, I feel like in places I've been in the past, we've spent twice as much time working on coverage. We spend less time and get more going here uh, because of what we do and how we do it. I think that's, uh, you know, tribute to Coach Powell and his style. Coached you, against and our kids understanding. We're thinking of making plays. We, we do those things. Have you coached against uh, Doc Holiday before? Not Doc Holiday. No, coached against Marshall uh, a couple times. Not Doc Holiday. At Marshall a couple times. I was fourteen in my first year, I believe. I coached him. Uh, I believe when I was a GA, was being with Randy Moss. Yeah. I think we'll get to the time. I'll check it. <laughs> Right. Many years later, you yeah. feel like you, you won. From, from what you see, what's contributed to the, the run <coughs> defense being as good as it's done? You know, details. I mean, Harry Gary is right at the table here. Bob, you know, he was number six on our six weeks. You know, really, all those guys, I mean, it takes everybody up front, but, you know, just attention to detail. And I, I, I think that, you know, we got them understanding what they're supposed to do. And again, I thought we were solid a year ago. I mean, but, you know, I hate to say we're good on defense with rushing, but I think rushing can – this is a good rushing team. This team likes to run. they got good backs and big and physical. And we have good scheme, too. So we'll see what we do. Do you notice much of a change in demeanor of your players after two losses as compared to after two wins? No, not really. I mean, the only demeanor you see is after the game, how they feel and how they hurt. But uh, other than – you know, I mean, you could see the hurt, uh, you know, right after the game and on uh, the trip back. And, uh, you know, come Sunday afternoon, you know, they're giggling and, Messing around on the field and having fun, which is what they better be doing. And I'm watching James Conner, you know, chasing Chuck Ted Moss around the indoor today. And they're laughing and giggling. So, you know, our guys are good. And, and uh, you know, I think, uh, like I told you Monday, they have short memories. And, uh, you know, and they have to. Which is they got to move on from that. Coaches don't have short memories, though, do they? You do. You better, you know, coaches better get over it, too, or you've got a problem. If you know, we sit there and worry about, you know, we're going to lick our wounds. Then you got problems, but you better, you know, you, you have short memories, you never forget, okay, because that's what you do. You know, you got to come back and you know, you're running routes that you've seen in the past. They have, they don't run, but you might see it again. But 
you know, those copy, copycat offenses, you know, will copycat what they saw in a previous game, even though it's not what they do. Um, so, you know, you never. The, the national team is You say how I, have I? Oh, oh, or, oh! You know, you said if I did, if they did, yeah, yeah. You know, uh, you know. I think the great thing about the University of Pittsburgh is, you know, some very intelligent kids. Uh, you know, well educated. From a, from a great university. And, you know, the big thing I'd say is just make sure you know what's going on. You know, I watch the news every day. Uh, you know, I read the USA Today when I get a second. You know, you just got to make sure you're educated and what you're doing and, and why you're doing it. I think that's the important thing. Um, you know, you never tell a kid, hey, you know, you're being stupid, you do that. You know, because it's their choice and, and it's their freedom. And not, you know, I haven't, you know, I've lived in one home, you know, uh, every few years and moved to a different home, a different area. Everybody's got their, uh, their thoughts and, and uh, I understand what it used to be what it is. Uh, and any players? You know, that's a, you know, I'm not going to tell you, again, personal things that happen. You know, I'm not going to talk about this conversation. It's personal. Anything else? You, know, you, um, you mentioned Jamar Hamlin on Monday and that he was regressing. Um, what does he do that even, I guess, puts him in the conversation at this point in the season? Having he could be a guy. That can he said he could be a guy. That can well, you said he's progressing. He's progressing, which what? means he's he's not as hurt as he was. Uh, I guess he's what? still a freshman, and he's a good player. I mean, he's smart. He's got great football intelligence. To answer your question, he's athletic. He's got the loosest hips I've seen, and uh, you know that doesn't mean he lost it doesn't help us right now. And I don't want to put a, put the pressure on him. You know, the price would be the same either. Uh, you know, there's a lot of football to be played. And, and, you know, I want to take care of Demar Hamlin. I don't want to, you know, put that on his shoulders. And, and I know he's going to be better another year. You know, would you like to redshirt him? Yes. Do you need him this year? We'll see how healthy we stay with him. How we need him to make or not make plays on defense. It'll be based on that. Good. Hey guys. All right.